the energy sector within NEOM can bring change to the world through the transition into a fully renewable system. By playing an instrumental role in sustainably driving industrial and economic growth in addition to improving people's lives. I am Peter Terium, Managing Director at NEOM, responsible for energy. My name is Mohamed Al-Arainan. I joined NEOM two years ago working as a project engineer, supporting the energy sector and leading projects and solving problems. I think of a change maker as someone who would simply introduce something new to the way things have been going, with a positive impact. You have to be comfortable with being outside of your comfort zone. Hi, Mohamed. Great to see you. Hello again, Peter. Nice to see you as well. Well, Mohamed, it's great to have a chat and uh, to talk about, for instance, you know, why did you join NEOM? Thank you very much, Peter. I'm glad to be here as well. I really wanted to be part of NEOM since the very beginning, when it was first announced, simply because its vision resonates quite well with what I wanted to do. In my second year of university, I attended one of the energy-related conferences. And for the first time, I listened to experts and industry leaders speak about this change and evolution that the energy sector is going through. And it really sparked me to become part of this change since then. I got this opportunity to participate in MISC's annual competition, which was in partnership with NEOM that year. And we eventually got lucky to be among the winning teams. And uh, this exposure helped uh, two of us to become part of the energy team, part of your team. I think all the innovative solutions keeps me excited and driven to do more and more in, in, in the energy sector. Well, that's great. It's great to hear because it fits so much to what I envisage to do with, with energy. Because it's a combination of engineering and technology and then in the market system. Because in order for it to play its role, it needs to be available, but it also needs to be affordable. Have you always wanting to become an energy engineer? Um, not really. So when I was a kid, I was good at drawing. So I wanted to become an architect. Um, but with good opportunities, I had to have some um, engagement with electronics and, and stuff during my, my summer school, during high school. I knew that I wanted to be not only an engineer, but electrical engineer with, with focus on energy. Yeah, well, that, that's great. Because one of the things I dreamt of when I was a kid was becoming an architect. And, and now I recognize that there's a lot of architect in, in each and every of us. And specifically, if you develop to become a leader, it's never a waste. So maybe your, your, your dream still comes true uh, as uh, being the architect of an energy system. I couldn't agree more, Peter. What, what did you do before joining the energy sector in NEOM? Well, I joined the energy business some 20 years ago. And even before that, when I was in another industry, I noticed how vital and important energy is. But creating energy cannot be done without impacting your environment. And Neom was the opportunity to start from scratch, start with a clean slate, with a fresh approach. And through that, do it much quicker. Because we have the aim to be 100% renewable by 2030. Yeah, it's a unique opportunity. And why do you think Neom has the opportunity to drive this change, especially when we talk about the energy sector? Yeah. I think Neom has a few very clear advantages, wind and solar, which is in that combination pretty unique in this part of Saudi. But it's also, I would say, the heritage. Uh, Neom is more than just a piece of land that starts uh, from scratch. You know, it's always been a place where multiple cultures were coming together. And that links very well to the diversity that we need to have for the future, because innovation doesn't have a passport, it doesn't have a religion, it doesn't speak only one language. And a part of innovation is the creativity of bringing different people together to find solutions that we currently don't even think of. Now, we've talked about all the great opportunities that NEOM gives you, but what do you consider have been the biggest challenges or the biggest hurdles that you have encountered in, the, in your work in NEOM? So one of the challenges I faced, um, especially here in the region and uh, in general, not only in NEOM, is the fact that having a completely renewable solution is not financially attractive yet. I mean, if you think about self-sufficient homes and buildings, this is something that is not widely adopted today. And this is why I'm excited to see that in NEOM, we're trying to drive different ways to do things so that it's not only adding from a sustainability point of view, but would also be financially competitive. Well, the, the biggest challenge that we have is that to build and operate a 100% renewable system, 
you need solutions that don't exist. So this is about cooperation with all the hotspots in the world. Take the best from everywhere, bring it to Neom and build something out of that. So Peter, what are your proudest moments of achievement? Wow, I think one of the great achievements and I'm very proud of was that producing green hydrogen at scale was already part of my energy strategy in 2018. You know, three years later, it's a vested part of the Saudi strategy. The energy minister talks about becoming the largest clean hydrogen supplier for the world. And having been part of that and initiating that, yeah, that's a great feeling. So to all these youngsters and excited individuals, Peter, what piece of advice would you give them when it comes to wanting to drive change and making an impact? I think one of the most important attitudes is curiosity. The curiosity yeah, to continue to try new things, even if they don't succeed, uh, but try it again. Only through that attitude you can create innovation. Amazing. It's uh, very uh, insightful and exciting to be uh, chatting with you. It's a pleasure. It's great working with youngsters with uh, such an amazing talent uh, as you have. And I've seen you developing in the last two years and uh, be very proud. This is one of the moments of pride that I could add to my list. So it was a pleasure. See you soon again. Indeed, see you soon, Peter. Thanks again. All the best. Thank you.